Today's food of thought comes from the second chapter of Proverbs, verse 10, and then verse 20 and 21, which reads, When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, you may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land and the blameless will remain in it. I want you to understand today that you cannot truly receive your blessings and be blessed if you're going at it without the Lord. Do not be deceived. Do not be mistaken by what those who are of the world will say to you. You cannot disobey God's instructions and still be blessed by the Lord. That doesn't make any sense. Don't think for one second that you don't have to be in fellowship with the Lord for God to bless you. Again, that does not make any sense whatsoever. No, you must be of sincere faith. You must dwell in fellowship with the Lord for you to be made content in your soul by him. You see, when you are of sincere faith in God, the proverb, it tells us that the wisdom of God, it makes a home within you and his wisdom, it becomes pleasant to your soul. The foolish man despises wisdom. The foolish man despises instruction. And should they continue in their own foolish way, they will foolishly fall into destruction. However, when you choose to lean not on your own understanding, but walk in the wisdom of God, you will walk in the way of goodness and you will keep to the paths of righteousness. Guess what that leads to? You see, that leads to holiness. That leads to righteousness. That leads to the incorruptibility of God's glory. So I encourage you today, let the wisdom of God enter into your heart. Let it be your guide. The proverb, it concludes that those who walk in the wisdom of God, they will dwell in the land. And because they will be blameless, they will remain in the land. That land, we should understand, that land is the land of the heavenly kingdom of God. It will be yours when you choose to walk in obedience to God's instructions. Mm -hmm.